Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. This one is going to be covering the best free assets released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace in March 2023. So this time around we've got four assets which I'm going to be covering. Now this time around they're not as visual as they were last month so this video itself might not be that visual, there might not be a lot to show but I'm going to have to see how I end up editing this video but that is why some of them aren't visual but they're definitely very useful. But with that little bit of disclaimer out of the way, let's get on with it, starting with the Drift Island plugin. So the Drift Island plugin is tools that make procedural construction for many splines faster, i.e. roads, road signs and fences. So this plugin contains nodes to work with splines, spline meshes, static meshes and much more. So what this plugin does, you can do with normal blueprints anyway, however you have to have a lot more blueprints to do the same thing, which will then obviously be quite laggy and it will be a bottleneck. So this just removes that completely. It'll eliminate the blueprint bottleneck, allowing to quickly do spline meshes and stuff for hundreds of splines. So this has nine blueprints and two C++ classes, and this is not network replicated. There is also documentation on here as well, so you can understand it a lot easier and a lot better for you to be able to use this properly. And the clip that you'll have seen in this video is of the example map they have provided. It doesn't look perfect, but you can kind of see what it is that they're getting at. And you can obviously customize it yourself completely and entirely as well. Next up it is Mission to Minerva. So this is an asset pack. So from cargo ships to rain rovers and terraformers to community centers and endlessly modular habitats. This free kit has everything a spacefaring explorer needs to build a world on a newly discovered planet. So a kind of a little disclaimer for this is that these are high poly assets intended for use in cinematics within Unreal Engine 5. So the way these have been modelled aren't with gameplay in mind, they're for cinematics. However, you could obviously test it in gameplay as well with the new Nanite system. It might work very well, but just keep in mind these were designed for cinematics, not for gameplay. So these look absolutely amazing. They're kind of sci-fi-esque assets. And as they've said, some of them are modular, some of them are prefabs. It all looks amazing. In total, there are 60 unique actors with 681 unique meshes. There's no collision on these by default, so you will have to do that yourself. But again, the reason there's no collision is because these are made for cinematics in mind, but it's very easy to add collision if you wanted to use these for gameplay. The vertex count is 19.7 million, which I'm assuming that is all of them combined together. And there's no LODs for these. There's 63 materials and material instances, and 459 textures, and the text resolutions, all of which are 2K. So again, this one looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Next up is HTTP GPT. So this is ChatGPT integrated into Unreal Engine. So this is a plugin that facilitates integration with OpenAI's GPT based services through asynchronous REST requests, making it easy for developers to communicate with these services. So the key part of that is developers to communicate with these services. I don't believe this is something you can use in game. This is just something for the developer to use more easily nested inside of the editor. And I also don't think this will actually do anything for you. It's just for you to talk to. So for example, if you want to know how to do a certain thing, for example, how to sprint in Unreal Engine, you could ask ChatGPT in Unreal and it will tell you and you could probably just copy and paste that code in it to the engine. Or if you wanted to maybe find out what a specific node does, you could ask that all without having to leave the engine, go into a browser and all that. You can just do it all in one convenient place. So this features asynchronous tasks, support for multiple models, plugin settings page in the project settings, automatic conversion of JSON into Ustructs, and two different editor tools. You have the chat plugin and the image generator plugin. And this is all open source as well, which you can see yourself. There's 13 blueprints and four C++ classes, and this is obviously not network replicated. On top of all this, there is also an example project and a documentation for you to look into and use as well to more easily understand all of this. And finally, last but not least, we have the quick command plugin. So this is a plugin for adjusting console variables or console commands. So this uses Slate, which can quickly adjust your preset console variables and commands, and you can also save the console variables you have adjusted so that the engine can apply these console variables the next time it starts. So the technical details of this are you can configure your commonly used console commands, you can quickly adjust presets through the UI, and you can save the adjusted console variables and automatically apply them the next time you start. There's zero blueprints in this, it's all done in C++, and it just says there is more than five C++ classes. 
Once again, not a lot to say on this one either. That's kind of been a pattern throughout all of this video is there's not a lot to say on some of them and there's also a not a lot to show on them. But that's kind of just because they're more simple. You get the idea across straight away from them and they all look very, very useful. Some of them are kind of niche, but they're pretty useful for the specific things that you may want. So I think that'll be it for this video on covering the best free assets released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace in March 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.